welcome to another pencast for the course Reasoning and Logic. This one is about induction proofs, and more specifically, it's about broken induction proofs. Proofs that at first glance seem alright, but then, as it turns out, have a fatal mistake that renders the entire proof invalid. Well, today we're actually just going to look at one example of a broken induction proof. But it is an example that we can generalize a little bit. And for our claim, we will take the following. If we sum the first n entries of 2 to the power i, so 2 to the power 0 plus 2 to the power 1 plus 2 to the power 2, etc., then I claim that this is equal to 2 to the power n plus 1. Now first, take 5 seconds, pause the video, and convince yourself that this claim is not valid. How do you do that? Find the counterexample. And trust me, you won't have to look far. Alright, hopefully you're convinced that this claim is false. Well, I'm going to try to prove it anyway. So how do I do that? Well, I need to take a random k, right? I need to prove something for all n. So I take a random k. Um, oh yeah, and I was going to do a proof by induction. So I take a random k such that this holds. That's my induction hypothesis. 2 to the power k plus 1 equals exactly this sum. Now what do I need to prove? I need to prove, that's the way induction works, right? That if it holds for k, it should also hold for k plus 1. So I need to prove that if I sum the first k plus 1 entries, the result is 2 to the power k plus 2. But what is 2 to the power k plus 2? Well, that's just 2 to the power k plus 1 plus 2 to the power k plus 1. I know already that 2 to the power k plus 1, I can use the induction hypothesis on that. That's the sum of the first k entries. Now I add one more entry, so yeah, this is exactly the sum of the first k plus 1 entries. Since k was arbitrary, blah 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 blah, by the principle of induction, I seem to have proven this claim that is clearly false. So what went wrong here? What's missing from this proof? Again, pause the video for a second and see if you can figure it out. So what went wrong? Well, this is only part of an induction proof, right? This is only the inductive step. What we're missing is the base case. And this proof, or rather, this incorrect proof, shows exactly why a base case is so very powerful. Everything that we've written here is correct. Mathematically, it all checks out. There's just one problem. There is no base case. There is no starting point for our induction chain to unravel from. If we could somehow prove that this was true for a certain number, for instance for the number 0, it would immediately be true for all numbers larger than that number. So for all numbers larger than 0, for instance. The problem is that there is no single number, no base case, for which this is true. Because there is no number for which this thing is true, and so we cannot start our dominoes, we cannot start our induction chain. So, why is this induction proof, induction proof broken? And why is the base case so important? Well, because without the base case, there is no starting point for our chain of logic. And without a starting point, we cannot prove anything with induction. And that's it for this video. I'll see you around for the next one.